Hello, my name is Ben, and in this video we're going to learn how to find when a function is concave up or concave down. Um, to do this, we're going to need to find this, the second derivative of the function, and we're going to find out when the second derivative is zero or undefined. We're going to create a number line to see when the second derivative is positive or negative, and a positive value will tell us it's concave up and a negative it's concave down so just a refresher concave up is like a punch bowl I always think it can hold stuff in it and concave down is like a mountain alright so I'm gonna show you how to do this through an example it's a pretty simple example first alright so it's a 1 12th x to the 4th minus 2x squared plus 9x minus 32. We're going to take the first derivative. That's f of x. A little backwards, but So we know that f prime of x, we're just going to use the power rule. We're going to take the exponent, multiply it by the coefficient, and then take one away from the exponent. Minus 4. And there's our second, our first derivative. Now we just need to find the second. So, again, we multiply the coefficient by the exponent and take one away from the exponent. We get x squared minus 4. Now we need to find when x squared minus 4 is 0 or undefined. And hopefully you, you know how to do that. You take x squared and you see when it's equal to a positive 4. And so obviously x equals plus minus 2. Alright, so now we have these zeros. We can make a number line do that, we're just going to make a line, and we're going to put on the line the, the zeros. So here's 2, negative 2, and we're going to plug in a value in between negative 2 and 2 into the second derivative and see if it's positive or negative. So let's use 1. So 1 squared minus 4 is going to be negative 3. So we know that any value between negative 2 and 2 is going to be negative. So we're going to do subtraction sign. And then we're going to take a value greater than 2 and plug it in to the second derivative. So let's do 3. So 3 squared minus 4. Same thing as 9 minus 4. Which equals 5. And that is positive. And then we're going to do again with negative 2. With the number less than negative 2, I'm sorry. So we can do negative 3. So negative 3 squared uh, minus 4 is again going to be 5. And that's going to be positive for all values less than 2, negative between negative 2 and 2, and positive greater than 2. And we know if it's negative, it's concave down. Like that, it's concave down. But positive, it's concave up. So we can rewrite this on a cleaner page as x. 
Okay. Then negative two or x is greater than two. Make sure not to put the equal because it's un it's a it's zero there. It's it's neither. It's an inflection point when it's zero. And it's down. Okay, down. Four. is less than x, which is less than 2. There's your answer. So going back, we found the second derivative right here. We found the zeros, which are called inflection points. Negative 2 and 2. We plugged in numbers between the zeros and the second derivative to find out when they are negative or positive. If, if the numbers between them are negative, then it's concave down. Or if they're positive, it's concave up. And that's about it for concavity. I may make another video with a harder example in it. If you have any math questions that you want to see a video of, just message me and I can try and put one up. So thank you. Uh, subscribe to my channel.